What's up y'all? We have a lot to uncover on this video, like a lot, a lot of interesting and highest important, important things to discover. Don't worry about the red days. Don't even, don't even worry about that. I mean, no sweat at all. Okay. We knew this was expected. We're going to talk about it in detail in a separate video, but guys, in this one, I want to share the light around something that popped on Reddit and it's really big. Okay. So this was posted yesterday overnight. There was collusion around between the DTCC and Citadel. Okay, so we found about a document published to the SCCC that is now giving us confirmation that what we were, were thinking so far is actually real. Okay, so if you go to this document, which is the legal uh, uh, disclosing the legal proceedings from a company named Apex Clearing. So Apex Clearing, if you don't know, it's a company. That is pretty much a clearinghouse working with all the major brokers in the US and Canada. So, for example, Ally Invest, they work with Apex Clearing, Betterman, you know, uh, um, First Rate, M1 Finance, um, other companies, Rise, and then you have um, Stash Invest, SoFi, they work with Apex Clearing. Robinhood used to work with Apex, but now they have their own. Um, Wealth Sim Simple in Canada, they work with Apex. Webull work also with Apex Clearing. So, it's a big, it's a big clearinghouse here in the US. So this company, Apex Clearing, it's merging with another company named Northern uh, um, Star Investment Corp. And this is the legal document, you know, that were on cover and published on the, on the DTCC, I mean, the SEC website. So pretty much guys, file on June 4, 2021. And because these two companies are merging, they need to disclose to the SEC through this form, pretty much what's going on in the legal aspect of the companies. Okay. So if you go to page 186, that's where you actually find out what is going on with this thing. So it brings us to this page, page 186, where you can read. Plaintiffs allege that Apex, along with over 30 other brokerage trading firms and clearing firms, including Morgan Stanley, E-Trade, Interactive Brokers, Charles Schwab, Robinhood, Barclays, Citadel, and DTCC engaged in a coordinated conspiracy in violation of antitrust laws to prevent retail customers from operating and trading freely in a conspiracy to allow certain of the other defendants, primarily hedge funds, to stop losing money on short sale positions in GameStop, AMC, and certain other securities. The matters were brought as class actions alleging violations of federal and state antitrust laws, security laws, unfair competition, dissemination of untrue and misleading statements, as well as negligence, breach of fiduciary duty, constructive fraud, and breach of implied covenants of good faith and fair dealing. A lot of bad things, right? A lot of bad things. Pretty much, guys, to summarize this, what happened in January, people were file lawsuits saying, hey, we have the DTCC, we have Citadel and other brokerage firms that colluded, you know, work together in order to prevent the little guy from making money when in January, GameStop and AMC were soaring. And we know that those filings, I mean, those lawsuits were filed back in January. So this is not a, no, a new lawsuit. But truth is, it's been recently filed June 4th, okay? And that's why we are just getting this thing uh, 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 um, uncovered. I mean, 186 pages, it's even bigger than that, but it, you know, everything is here. So pretty much, it doesn't surprise me because when you go to the DTCC board of directors, okay? We have a name, a, 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 a board of director, okay? I mean, a director, member of the board of directors, David Inks. He's actually the global head of operations at Citadel and Citadel Securities. He is responsible for all products across asset servicing, billing, cash management, clearing, collateral management, reconciliation and controls, and settlement. So pretty much he's the guy overseeing the clearing of securities at Citadel. And he's also a board, a member of the board of the, the directors here at the DTCC. So it doesn't surprise me that what these guys have been mentioning here about this collusion, it's actually true. All right. It's actually true. So guys, not only it sheds the light on what the apes, we were already, you know, we already knew this. We already knew this since I don't know how many months, 
But now trade rates went on Fox Business and taught the same thing with Charles Payne. The higher, I mean, the, I mean, it gives another confirmation that, hey, the apes, the retail investors are not dumb. These guys, I mean, we are actually doing our homeworks. And because we're doing our homeworks, we know, we know why we need to hang tight on the AMC, okay? Because guess what? The SEC was already looking into this, but with this type of discovery, they are now looking even further, okay? I made that comment in my videos that I posted yesterday, but also today, the SEC went out and said, hey, we are going against this thing happening where retail investors' orders are not priced properly. There is something shady going on, and this actually proves it. So the more light, you know, comes out, com comes around this kind of, you know, unfair activities from people in Wall Street and the big guy with the big pockets against the retailers will give us even more momentum, even more strength to the movement. So if you thought this was just about money, you know, of course it is, but actually it's even bigger than that. It's even bigger than that. It got to a whole new level. And that's why we need to even stay stronger now. All right. We need to stay even stronger now. Guys, I don't know what else to tell you. All the evidences are here. The squeeze is closer. We need to stay focused. That's it. It's simple.